David, starting with the bullpen, what did you see from the guys tonight and how they were able to navigate the Giants lineup and keep you guys on the same? You know, I, I thought they did a nice job. Um, anytime you face uh, Logan Webb, you got your hands full. Um, and runs are hard to come by. I thought offensively, we did a fantastic job. Um, you know, on the pitching side, you know, Braves to come and do a back-to-back -back open for us. I don't think he's ever done that. Um, and then kind of let letting yards run and uh, kept some ball game, uh, minimized some damage. I thought he ran out of some, ran out of gas. Um, and to be able to get Michael in there to get us almost two innings and you know, ideally. Right now, I wouldn't want to uh, have Evan do an up down to do a, a four out safe, but you know when you have a chance to beat Logan Webb, you gotta you gotta bank it or try to bank it. And so um, for us, it was huge that he came up big right there. With the bottom of the order, well, I guess we're saying top of the order, and considering how much we've been talking about them, to see the bottom of the order get going tonight, just how beneficial is that to lengthen up? It, it, it's great, you know, when you put this roster together, the lineup, you you expect length and guys taking good at bats and you know James uh, the last couple of nights I thought he swung the bat really well and just hasn't gotten any luck and tonight line two balls uh, to make two outs and Gavin to finally get some outfield grass and walk twice keep the line moving and Kike uh, you know again Webb's a tough at bat and for him to, that was a big hit from Kike right there and we ran the base as well and you know on that note I thought one of the biggest plays of the night was the, the line out um, to the first baseman off uh, Alvin's bat and for Teoscar to get back and keep that inning going. You know, that just kind of allowed us to keep pushing uh, some more runs across. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, really well played game across the board. In a situation like this, are you a little nervous about a bullpen game when you win? Do you kind of think, yeah, we, we stole one there? You know, I, I, I think, uh, I mean, anytime you're facing you know, Webb, it, it's, it's, it doesn't matter who you run out there, it's going to be tough. And uh, we didn't have a lot of margin tonight. And, and so you got to sort of let guys run a little bit longer. <clears throat> and uh, it gets a little uncomfortable, for sure. And you're trying to hold as long as you can to deploy guys. And um, <clears throat> you don't want to use certain leverage guys, uh, you know, in a minus game or end up losing that game. Uh, so you, you kind of sit tight a little bit more than you should, and it is a good feeling when you can win a game like that. And you know we led a lot of that game, so I don't want to say steal it. Um, and you know to feel to know that you got glass going tomorrow to chance to, to win three against a, a division rival, it's a good feeling right now. How much does it help you to know that your highest leverage guys are essentially the same as they were last season? What does it do for bullpen cohesion? Have people in such well-defined roles? Well, I think it's it's the cohesion is the main point. Um, they understand the culture and what's expected of them. And Evan didn't bat an eye to do an up down tonight. You know, Alex didn't bat an eye. He's available tomorrow. You know, Michael to do multiples didn't think twice. Brage um, as a veteran reliever to do the first opening, you know, of his career doesn't balk at that. So those are things that there's the buy-in. And so for me, when you get talent, you get the buy, and then you can sort of put the pieces uh, to best suit that. Uh, something we didn't get to or uh, after we talked to you pregame with Bruce Starr, uh, yeah. going on the 60, just what happened there? Yeah, you know, with, with Bruce Starr, it's unfortunate. Um, so now I don't think he'll be ready, available uh, till the end of May. And so it's one of those things, you're talking about the shoulder. Um, it just haven't, hasn't really come back to where we want it. And then the time off that he's had, uh, there's a big buildup there. And so now the expectation is that, you know, once we get to, I think, the 23rd or 24th of May, he'll be able to hit the ground running and do multiples and do an up down and kind of go through that process and uh, just kind of being able to clear a roster spot. But um, it's unfortunate, but he's still going to have four plus months of, uh, you know, baseball with us. He asked him to throw him. Is it just an issue not to bounce him back well with that? It, it just, he, he can't let it rip. There's a little bit of the recovery part of it, but there's a little bit of, uh, it's just not able to get to the uh, comfort level, the uh, the velocity or the effort level that, that we all would like. I know you said that he's able to kind of separate the defense from the offense. When you think about the work he's putting in at shortstop, just how blocked that he's had to be there. Do you think there could be any correlation to what? 
how long you use it? You know, I, I don't. I, I don't, Ron. I, I think that um, that's an easy yes answer, but I, I just stand by the fact that defense is defense. Uh, he's putting a lot of work into the defense, which he always has, um, but now it's more specific to shortstop. And then offense is offense. And, and so it's just a credit to him as a ball player, as a person. Are you running out of words to describe this kind of stretch or something? It's, yeah, yeah, I am. There's a lot of, it's hard to come up with new descriptors, you know. Um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, he's playing out of this world. And to, to, you know, he's still playing shortstop and he's getting better every day. He's hitting good pitch and he's, uh, you know, sparking us. And he's doing everything we need. Big hits, getting on base when we need it. And, you know, we're going to get Shohei going too. You know, that's going to happen too. So to win games like we're winning right now, and uh, he has it done on track. That, that's a good thing for the Dodgers. Dave, what do you see with the Otani swing right now? <clears throat> um, I, I just think there's a little timing. You know, there's some pitches that I know uh, he should be able to move forward and, and square up, and he's just missing them. So I think he's just a, a popping them up. So he, he's working hard, and uh, it, it's going to click. He's too talented that it won't. And so his track record speaks for itself. But I think, you know, hitting's hard. And uh, you know he'll get his timing down. Thanks, guys. <clears throat>